In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one true God. I mean, hi everybody, this is Pradeep Chamashin. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about overcoming peer pressure. And so I wanted to begin by showing you this icon of St. Stephen, the chief of the deacons. You can see, of course, his censer and his vestments. So St. Yeah, Stephen is always depicted very clearly. But I want you to focus on his expression. Look at his face. He's not really smiling, but doesn't really look sad either. All icons are like this. You see, any icon, the saint or Christ, whoever it is, is kind of expressionless almost, right? They're not smiling. They're not giving you one of these. They're not uh, looking really sad and dejected or in pain. They're just real calm, real still. And that's on purpose, right? The church is teaching us through these icons and the saints teach us through their lives that to be close to Christ involves being dispassionate, as the church fathers say, dispassionate, passionless. That means you're not swayed by the highs and the lows of this world. You're not governed by your emotions, by how happy you are, how upset you are, how annoyed you are. Right? Passionless doesn't mean you can't show joy, doesn't mean you can't smile, doesn't mean you can't be happy, or you can't be sad, or mourn, or be upset over something. It doesn't mean that at all. That's okay to do. Being dispassionate means you're not swayed. Right? You're not tossed back and forth by how you feel at a given moment, by whether you had a good day or a bad day, whether you had a good lunch or you didn't eat, or there was something uh, that someone said that got on your nerves. That's what that means, right? In other words, the peace of Christ stays with you. Right? You have that peace in you. You have that contentment no matter what happens to you, no matter what mood you're in, no matter what you may be going through, that peace is still inside you. Right? So that's what we learn by looking at those icons and the facial expressions. Even the facial expressions uh, in icons can teach you things. Right? So when it comes to overcoming peer pressure, I want you to have that idea in mind. Not being swayed by the highs and the lows. Not being swayed by the highs and the lows. Not being ruled by your emotions and your feelings. Look at Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. So St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 10, verse 28, which says, And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Again, that's Matthew chapter 10. So we hear very clearly in the Gospel of St. Matthew the words of Christ saying, don't fear, don't worry about people, what they can do to you. They can do any number of things to you, right? We know this. We've all experienced the pain that people can inflict on us, and we've probably inflicted pain on other people. Uh, people can hurt you physically. They can abuse you mentally. They can ruin your reputation. They can do any number of things. They can kill you. But in the end, Christ says, none of that matters. None of that matters, because Jesus Christ is forever. The harm in this life, it's not forever. So when it comes to peer pressure, we have to ask ourselves why we care so much. We are so wrapped up in what people think of us. Am I cool? And Do people think I'm smart? Do people think I'm good looking? Do people think I'm good at this or that? Am I successful? Am I all, whatever it is? Does all of that matter to God? All of these things that we experience in life, um, embarrassment, um, we've all done something in class when we were younger, uh, or maybe yesterday, who knows, or at work, or maybe at church, at home, whatever. Wherever it may be, we've probably done something that was really embarrassing. And sure, it might be embarrassing right now, but in the end, it's less than a drop of water in the ocean. Less than that, if even that. Think about something you did. Um, ask yourself whether anyone cared the next day, or a week afterward, or a year afterward, or two years afterward, or 10 years. Do you think anyone's going to care in 50 years? 
What about eternity? Is anyone going to remember? Do you remember anything embarrassing that your dad or your mom did in school? Do they remember? What about your upjanamaji? Do you remember something someone said about them that ruined their reputation? Even if you do, how long is that going to last? Less than a drop of water in the ocean. When it comes to eternity, all of this stuff passes away. It all passes away. So don't worry about what people think about you. If you're afraid of looking like you're judgmental or dumb or uh, whatever it may be, when someone asks you if you want to go to a party, if you want to get drunk, or if you're pressured into having sex, don't worry about what are the other people, what other people think of you if you say no, or if you say, I want to do this instead. Who cares? Who cares what other people think about your reputation? Read Psalm 49, uh, or Psalm 48, if you're in the Orthodox Study Bible, or a Septuagint Bible, other than the Orthodox Study Bible. But in my uh, Catholic Bible I have right now, it's Psalm 49. Look at verse 17. Psalm 49, verse 17. Do not fear when others become rich, when the wealth of their houses grow great. When they die, they will take nothing with them. Their wealth will not follow them down. When living, they congratulate themselves and say, All praise you, you do so well. But they will join the company of their forebears, never again to see the light. For all their riches, if mortals do not have wisdom, they perish like the beasts. Whatever you achieve on this earth, or whatever someone else achieves on this earth, or hasn't achieved, remember, we're all going to the same place. We're all going to the grave. All of us are going to die. We can't take those things with us, our reputation, uh, the wealth we've built up. We can't take those with us. So why are we so concerned with it? Why are we so concerned with what people think about us? Now, we have to be respected, uh, respectable. I'm sorry. We have to respect others. We have to uh, want to take care of people and, and to tend to their needs and to make sure we're not hurting their feelings. That's okay. Right? We want to respect the opinions of those we love, people we respect, um, people who have authority, who have learned, um, people who are holy, of course. Um, we want to be able to take criticism humbly, of course. Accept criticism, right? Try to, to use it to, to become stronger, to become better. But don't worry about your reputation. That's what I mean. Don't worry about that. It's okay to dwell on sins you may have committed, uh, or to reflect on them, rather, not dwell. To reflect on them, to repent, uh, to try to make them right, um, to try to right the wrongs you may have done against somebody else. Right? When we say don't care, we don't mean stop caring about people and if you're hurting them or taking care of them. No. Worry about people. Don't do things that will affect other people's faith. Uh, don't do things that will hurt other people. Right? Of course, that's not what we mean when we say don't care. Uh, but when we say don't care, we're talking about reputation, your pride, right? how cool you think you are, how cool you think, uh, how cool you want other people to think you are. If people think you're successful, um, when you get older and you have kids, oh, I want people to see the car I'm driving or the house I live in or how successful my kids are. Does God care? Does God care about any of that stuff? Ask yourself. Does God really care about any of that stuff? Remember that in the end, God knows the truth. And that should be all that matters. God knows the truth. Scripture tells us, do not be conformed to this world. It tells us the world will hate you. So don't worry. Even Christ was hated. People are going to think you're dumb at some point. People are going to talk behind your back at some point. People are going to do things that are going to hurt you at some point. Who cares? These things are less than a drop of water in the ocean. Even less than that. If that. I want to leave you with a story um, from one of the Desert Fathers, one of the great fathers of the early church, St. Macarius the Great of Egypt. St. Macarius uh, the Great of Egypt was talking to a brother who had come to see him, a monk that had come to see him in the deserts of Egypt. And the brother came to Abba Makarius and said, Master, speak some word of exhortation to me, that by obeying it I may be saved. 
St. Macarios answered him, Go to the tombs and attack the dead with insults. The brother wondered at the word, but nevertheless he went, as he was bidden, and cast stones at the tombs, railing upon the dead. Then he returned and told Abba Macarios what he had done. Macarios asked him, Did the dead notice what you did? And he replied, They did not notice me. Go then again, said Macarios, and this time praise them. The brother, wondering yet more, went and praised the dead, calling them just men, apostles, and saints. Returning, he told what he had done, saying, I have praised the dead. Macarios asked him, Did they reply to you? And he said, They did not reply to me. Then Abba Makarios said, You know what insults you heaped on the dead, and with what praises you flattered them, and yet they never spoke to you. If you desire salvation, you must be like these dead. You must think nothing of the wrongs men do to you, nor of the praises they offer to you. Be like the dead, thus you may be saved. You must think nothing of the wrongs men do to you, nor of the praises they offer you. Be like the dead, thus you may be saved. Don't worry about being glorified and, and successful uh, in other people's eyes. Don't worry about it. It's okay to work hard, to want to be successful uh, in your career at, at uh, school, to have goals to achieve. Those are all fine. But don't get too wrapped up in those. Don't let those be what you're all about. Don't dwell on those. Right? And so think of that when you find yourselves in... in Situations which you're feeling some peer pressure. Someone's trying to get you to do something. Or someone is uh, talking behind your back. Or you're worried about your reputation and this and that. Remember, don't fear anybody. Right? Be like the saints. Don't be swayed by the highs and the lows. And remember the words of Christ. Do not fear those who can kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Right? Everything in this world, reputation, wealth, embarrassing moments, Moments of glory, moments that we were, we came out looking great. All of those things are passing away. All of those things are not meant to last. The only thing that is forever is Christ. So be unique. Don't be afraid to stand out, even if it makes you unpopular. Follow what you know is right. Don't be a follower of the world which is passing away. Be a follower of Jesus Christ. Be a follower of God the Father. Be a follower of God the Holy Spirit and his kingdom, which is forever and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my true God. Amen. God bless you guys, and have a wonderful day.